So welcome back to the channel, I'm Vic, your host. So Flamengo is a 4 star team in PES 2021 and in this video I'm gonna show you which formation I would use, which players I would use in each position and I'm also gonna show you some highlights and player runs and movement and goals and in-game situations and stuff like that using this formation and my playing style. So with this team you really want to use your wingers and I set up this formation, which is a 4-2-3-1 formation offensively, and it's a fluid formation, so defensively it's basically the same, just a little bit more lower and more compact. So what's important when playing with this team is you have a good central line of players here, but the key point of the team is the wingers and the wing play. So in this clip we're building up from the back and I'm gonna play it through and comment uh, as we go. We're passing it out from Thiago Maia. It's gonna hit Felipe Luis here. Up to Bruno Henrique who hits Gerson who's wide open in the midfield. It's gonna do a short pass to Isla and then we see here De Arascaeta is making himself available as the playmaker right here. You have Bruno Enrique here starting his run. You have Gabigol and I think this is Everton Ribeiro in this game. So let's see what the Arascaeta do does here. So hits Thiago Maia. Thiago Maia out to Felipe Luis again. Then you see here Bruno Enrique. You have the run from the Arascaeta, also Gabigol. This sets up a beautiful triangle play. Let's take a look here. Quick one two. Opens up some space and Gabigol is wide alone in the field. So if we look at the attacking instructions here, I chose to go with the counter attack, uh, short pass build up while attacking wide using the wingers and my wing backs. I maintained formation and I had medium support range. And here we have another clip where we are building up from the back. It's Isla on the right side. We see here we have Gerson, De Arascaeta, Everton Ribeiro and Enrique out here. So let's play it through and I'll comment. Isla with the ball. It's Everton Ribeiro. Plays it off to Bruno. And here you see De Arascaeta has a lot of space here. And you see here what I'm gonna do here. Quick pass here, gonna do a 1-2 and let's see what opens up, a lot of space for Bruno and Gabigol is wide open once again, for easy tapping. Defensively I went with frontline pressure and tried to contain them into the center uh, with aggressive pressure, really high defensive line and low compactness, so having this team with a lot of quick players and using the counter as the attacking uh, instructions. I really wanted to have players all over the field try to cover every area and every oppo opposing player to try to win the ball back. And when I did, I didn't want my team to spend a lot of energy running up and down on counters and getting back and stuff like that. So I put my defensive line really high and with low compactness you will spread the players out. It's basically the complete opposite of doing high compactness and swarming the box. And in the advanced instructions I chose centering targets. I want to get the ball into the striker. Depending on the game form is either Gabriel Gabigol or Pedro. And then I put defensive assignment on Villan Arao. So let's take a look at the players here. Up front, centrally, you have Gabriel Barbosa, Gabigol, goal poacher, left-footed. He has the ball control, he has slow pass, he has finishing, heading, he has some curl, he has some speed, he has some kicking power. He has the double touch, he has a long-range drive, first-time shot, an outside curler. When he didn't play, I chose to start with Pedro. Pedro is a tall, right-footed goal poacher. He has the ball control, he has low pass, he has finishing, heading, he has decent speed and kicking power. He has heading, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. So in this clip I'm gonna show you a counter. So Everton Ribeiro has just broken up a pass here. He's gonna do a short pass to Diego. And then Diego is gonna pass it up to Pedro, who's gonna lay it off to Everton Ribeiro to get through. So let's take a look here. 
long wall off to Pietro, he lays it off. The fence is a little bit too aggressive, they are pushing up. Um, it's a bad cross from me. He messes it up and Pietro just lobs the goalie for the uh, cheeky finish. It doesn't matter that much who you start with, obviously Gabigol has better ratings and he also has like the double touch and stuff like that, so he's the primary striker but you will score a lot of goals with either one of them, doesn't matter who plays. Behind the striker I have uh, De Arascaeta in an attacking midfielder role. This guy is a hole player, he inspires slow pass and lofted pass, he also can play on the wings and basically anywhere in midfield or up front. He has ball control, he can pass, he can finish, he can curl, he has some speed, he has kicking power, he has the double touch, he has the cut behind and turn, he has long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, through passing, pinpoint crossing, outside curler and low lofted pass. He also is a super sub but you won't use him as a sub, you're, you're gonna start him. So in this clip I'm going to show you what you could do with the Arascaeta once you get some free space in the middle. So in this situation you have Arau here on the ball. He is going to pass it to the Arascaeta who's going to do a quick one-two with uh, I think this is Diego. Uh, the Arascaeta is going to get the ball back and let's see what it does. See here Diego with the one-two to the Arascaeta. Then it's gonna do the double touch to get through and then finish with this outside of the foot. On the wings on the left side you have Bruno Enrique and on the right side Everton Ribeiro. So Bruno Enrique can play anywhere up front. He's a prolific winger, he inspires dribble through, two stars. He has ball control, he has finishing, heading, he has good speed, some kicking power. He does not has, have the double touch but he has heading, he has the cut behind and turn and he has some other skills that I don't use that much but if you if you can use these skills he will be a, a monster for you out wide. On the opposite side Everton Ribeiro is a roaming flank, he inspires slow pass two stars and lofted pass one star left footed. He will cut inside and shoot or pass. He has good ball control, good low pass, he can also loft pass. He has finishing, he has good curl, he has some speed and he has kicking power. So in this clip I'm gonna show you Everton Ribeiro's long range finishing abilities. Uh, it all starts with a headed uh, clearance here and Gerson is gonna win the ball as he often does in this uh, position. He's gonna play Bruno, Bruno's gonna play Luis uh, Felipe Luis who's coming on an overlap. We're gonna cross it in and let's take a look what happens. Gerson right here with his left foot out to Bruno. Waits patiently for Felipe Luis. It's a deflected cross. Arbosa lays it off. He has the double touch, long range drive, he can chip shot, he has the dipping shot, he can one touch pass, through pass and he can pinpoint curl, he also has the outside curler. So in this clip we are doing a counter, I think it is from a corner or a free kick. Uh, so we have Vitinho here on the ball, he's gonna pass it up to Pedro, he's gonna keep the ball a little bit, hit the Arascaeta, who's gonna pass it out, be patient and wait for Felipe Luis to come on an overlap. And let's take a look and see what happens here. Vitinho to Pedro. Pedro finds the Arascaeta. Waits a little bit for a run of Felipe Luis. And then you can see here you already now have some movement. Pedro is going to find his spot inside the box. We also have Everton Ribeiro starting a run here. And Felipe Luis has pinpoint crossing. So let's see what happens. Excellent finish from Everton Ribeiro with the volley. Basically I try to use these four as much as possible, but if the Arascaeta can't play, you can use Diego, the veteran, if you remember him from Werder Bremen in Germany. So this guy is a classic number 10, he inspires low pass 2 stars and lofted pass 1 star. He has ball control, he has good passing, he has some curl, he is really slow, he is old and can't run. Uh, he has kicking power and he has one touch pass, through passing, 
he has the no look pass, he can also captain, but basically what you want to do with the Diego in the games he plays is give him the ball and have him pass it as soon as possible, no need to go on runs and stuff like that with his speed. Another option centrally is Vitinho, so Vitinho is a whole player who can play anywhere up front, basically you can use him anywhere but because of whole player playing style I prefer to have him centrally when the Arascaeta can't play, so he has ball control, he has low pass, he can finish, he has some curl, he has speed, he has kicking power, he can head, he can long range drive, he has the dipping shot and the first time shot, not that much of a passer. With the Arascaeta you can do more, you can pass, you can dribble, you can do a lot of stuff. Another option on the wing is Pedro Rocha, he's a dummy runner who can play anywhere up front, uh, he has ball control, he can low pass, he can finish, he has speed and he has kicking power. He doesn't have that many player skills, but he's a decent option uh, if you don't have any other option. So a key player in this setup is uh, the box-to-box -box central midfielder, which is Gerson. So he inspires low pass, one star. Gerson can play basically anywhere in midfield and up front except striker. He's left-footed, he has ball control, he can pass, he has speed, he has kicking power, he can't finish all that well. He has the double touch, he has one touch passing, through passing, no look pass and low lofted pass. He will also track back uh, doing defensive runs when needed. And next to him you have the holding midfielder William Arau. He's a box to box midfielder, right footed. He can pass and he can head and he has defensive skills which are useful in his role. He has man marking, interception, acrobatic clear, he has captaincy, he has fighting spirit. Another option in the central midfield is Thiago Maya so he's a destroyer playing style he's left footed uh, he has ball control he has pa low pass he has kicking power and he's decent defensively he has interception and fighting spirit but this guy is a backup so you will primarily try to use uh, Arao and Gerson in the midfield so the back four you have a couple of good offensive fullbacks you have Felipe Luis on the left side and then you have Maurizio Isla on the right side so Felipe Luis veteran left footed he has ball control he can pass he has some speed and he has kicking power for an offensive fullback he has a good defensive skills actually so he's really useful he has the double touch man marking and fighting spirit on the other side you have Maurizio Isla the Chilean inspires lofted pass one star he can play also centrally but primarily on the right side uh, he can pass and he has speed he also is decent defensively for an offensive fullback and he has the pinpoint crossing and he has fighting spirit so the backup to these two is René primarily a left back who also can play right uh, but he's left footed so we want to use him there. He has lofted pass, he has good speed and decent kicking power. Not that good defensively, but he has pinpoint crossing and acrobatic clear. Centrally I chose to use Leo Pereira and Rodrigo Cayo. So Leo Pereira left footed, build up. He has heading, he has speed, he has uh, good defensive skills and he has the acrobatic clear his weakness obviously he does not have man marking he does not have heading he doesn't have interception stuff like that but i like his speed and then you have rodrigo cayo the captain build up central defender right footed he can pass he can head he has some speed he has decent defensive skills he can head man mark and captain and has fighting spirit so the backup here is gustavo enrique build up really tall central defender he has heading and kicking power decent defensive skills he has man marking and interception so if you pre prefer that kind of a player to Leo Pereira who is more speedy. There's no problem swapping them out here. So the defensive setup, everyone is pulled back and made a little bit more compact even though uh, I play with low compactness so that doesn't matter that much but the point here is to pull everyone a little bit lower to cover much ground as possible in my own half of the field and then when attacking I will push everyone up. So let's take a look at the counter here. I've won the ball back with Deras Gaeta, he has the ball here, he's gonna do a through pass to Gabigol and here we can see his through passing ability and then Gabigol is gonna go around his defender and pass it into Everton Ribeiro who is gonna make a great run all the way up here to tap it in, so let's take a look at it. Deras Gaeta has the ball, left footed pass through to Gabigol, uses his speed, hits it hard in front and Everton Ribeiro with the tap. 
So thanks so much for watching this video, did you like it? I will do an online division gameplay series with Flamengo in the near future, so consider sticking around and subscribing to my channel. Do you have any requests on other teams for me to review? Please leave a comment below. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.